Hey everybody, let's talk 2022 Open. So you've been training all year, you're fired up, you think you can make the quarterfinals, you're ready to go, that's awesome. Here's a few things that you wanna be really sure that you prepare in addition to getting your fitness in order. Number one, make sure that you take the time to read the event descriptions and all of the movement standards before you start your workout. It's heartbreaking to see athletes go through, assume they know the standards, assume they know the floor plan, and then it turns out they didn't do it right and they have to go and do it again. Don't let it be you. So make sure you take that time, read through it, understand it, ask questions if you have them, and then go knock it out. Second, if you're advancing, you need to make sure that you've got video evidence of your performance. That doesn't mean that you have to submit via video submission, but you do have to have that workout on video if it's requested from the games team. So make sure you've got a solid plan for how you're gonna capture that workout on video. There's recommended angles for capturing that in the event description. So one more reason that you should make sure you're really solid on that document. Third, and really important, is that you've got to use a good judge. And what do I mean by a good judge? I mean somebody who's going to hold you accountable to the movement standards in the event descriptions. They have to understand those and they have to enforce them. Again, it's always heartbreaking when we see an athlete that's just going for it, great performance, but they're not meeting the standards, and that is what keeps them out from advancing to the next stage. Don't let it be you. Make sure you've got somebody who's holding you accountable and correcting things if they're getting off the rails a little bit. That's it for me, guys. Have fun. We'll see you on the leaderboard, and good luck getting to the next step.